If you need some inspiration to start off your week, this next story might be it. For most of us, 100 miles would be a long drive, right? But for one Phoenix man, 100 miles is an ideal distance to run. Team 12's Cameron Cox has more on this unique record-setting preference. It's the obvious first question to which I should have seen the answer coming. How sore are you? If I sit around for a while, like I get kind of tight, but then once I move around, I feel pretty decent. Like, I feel like if I had to, I could run today. This past Saturday, Zach Bitter spent all day on a treadmill, setting a new world record, running 100 miles in 12 hours, 9 minutes, and 15 seconds, shattering the previous record by 21 minutes. Are you done? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <gasps> Running that far is nothing new for Bitter. He's been an ultra marathon runner for the past 10 years. He set the indoor 100 mile world record back in August and was in the middle of training for a 100 mile race when his season was shut down in March. And I decided, uh, well, if treadmill's what we have, then let's, let's go with that. The event was live streamed on YouTube with sponsors and guest speakers hosted by his wife who you guessed it is also a 100 miler. In fact, she owns the second fastest time in the world on trail. A friend of ours actually jokingly said we literally ran into one another, and that's kind of true. So like, without her, I would have been I would have been in a rough shape. There were a few bathroom breaks, even a quick sit-down mental break at mile 87. When you're on a treadmill, you're kind of responding to what the treadmill gives you, so you feel like you kind of lost that control a little bit. And that really eats away, with, eats away at you a bit. But Zach's biggest fear? Losing power. We actually uh, overpowered the room a little bit with the, the treadmills and the air conditioner in there. So we had to kind of like take an extension cord during the middle of the run and like stretch to the other side of the house just to make sure the, the treadmill had the power not to have the screen like time out. Because uh, the screen is what's documenting my distance and my time. So if you lose that, then you don't have a, you don't have a record documentation. So what's next? Well, he thinks he can run it a little faster. He's also going to keep training if and when his season starts back up. Just probably not on a treadmill for a little while. Cameron Cox, 12 Sports.